What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another draw preview. And we have a brand new event this week, the Mallorca Championships on the grass courts. It's an ATP 250 event in Mallorca, Spain. Of course, Rafa Nadal's hometown, his home island as well. He's not playing this event, but there are some neighbors that have also pulled out of this event. So let's go to the withdrawal list. Only a couple of players pulled out of this one. We have Shardy. He's not playing. Del Bonis is pulled out. And Nick Kyrgios is also out of this event. All right, let's start at the top of the draw here. And you got eight seeds in this one. Top four seeds get a buy in the first round. Daniel Medvedev. He is the number one seed, and he's going to have to rebound from a poor performance last week in Hella. Luckily, gets a buy in the first round. He awaits the winner of Harris versus Mute, who are going at it in the first round. And we already have some matches that are underway. Tennis Sangren, he actually leads Munir in the first round there. He's up a set in that match. Still have to be completed, though. The winner of that match awaits the winner of Simon and the number five seed, Rud. Then we got the number four seed, Karina Busta. He gets a buy in the first round. He awaits the winner of Vesely and Caruso, who are going at it in the first round. We already have someone getting through to the second round with Jordan Thompson beating Anduha in a very tight three-setter. So he's into the second round. He awaits the winner of the qualifier, Klein, and the number eight seed, Lajovic, who are going at it in the first round. So players I'm watching out for this week, Daniel Medvedev, quite obvious. He's the number one seed in this one and also the number two player in the world. And also looking to rebound after not having a great week last week. But I'm also interested to see how Kasper Rudd does because we know how good he was on the clay courts. He's in Korea best form right now. And this is the first time we're going to see him on the grass court. So let's see how he can convert his game from clay onto the grass. Bottom half of the draw now, we've got the number seven seed, Umber. He takes on Kecmenovic in the first round. Winner of that match takes on the winner of the qualifier, Bayana, or Sam Query in the second round. Then we've got Travaglia versus Pella. Winner of that match takes on the number three seed, Roberto Batista Ragu, who gets a buy in the first round. Then we've got the number six seed, Hashi. He takes on the qualifier, Pui. Circle that one as one to watch. That is a big first round with Luka Pui, a former top 10 player, taking on another former top 10 player in Hashinov. Winner of that match takes on either the qualifier, Kun, or Lopez in the second round. So a battle of the Spaniards. And we already have a second round matchup locked in. We have Manorino. He got through Struff overnight, and he will now take on the number two seed, Dominic Team, in the second round, who got a buy in the first round. So we already got a second round matchup, Manorino versus Team. So the players I'm watching out for in this one, Dominic Team. We haven't seen him play a warm up event to win for so long because he's usually playing in the final of the French Open. So he doesn't usually play tournaments before the Wimbledon Championship. So this is the first time we're going to see this for a few years now. So very interested to see how his game converts onto the grass considering he lost in the first round of the French Open. Also really interested to see how Umber does because Umber is coming off winning Halle last week, beating some really big names in that one, including Rublev in the final. So really interested to see how Umber does this week as well. So there it is, the Mallorca Championships. The first time we've ever had the Mallorca Championships and it's, of course, a grass court event, ATP 250. So it is one of the smaller events, but it has some big names. We've got some top 10 players in this one as well, former top 10 players as well. So it's going to be a stacked event. Last chance for all these players to get some form going into Wimbledon. Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this one? I still don't know who's going to win this one because the players that are playing, the top players, in fact, are not really in that much form. Some of the players that are lower in the rankings seem to be in a little bit of better form, especially someone like Umber, who just came off winning a massive tournament last week in Heller. All right, so having a look at the draw here and looking at who might actually get through. And I'm going to go with Dominic Team in this one. I know it's a little bit of an outside pick. And like I said, hasn't played much grass court lead in events to Wimbledon. In fact, the last time he played Wimbledon, he lost in the first round. But I'm still going to go with him because I think his game is suited to the grass. And having the extra two weeks, not having to play the French Open after losing so early, he should be primed to do well at this event. So I'm going to go with Dominic Team to win this one. Let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win this one. So the Mallorca Championships, the last chance for a lot of these top 10 players to get some form going into Wimbledon. Wimbledon.